today from Orlando, Florida. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. It's the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Cleveland Browns. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, it's an AFC North matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. and I have been looking forward to this one all week and we are underway from the city beautiful this fielded right at the goal line and they'll get him down right around the 25 actually the 26 officially so a net gain of one there here come the Bengals now to take over and a glance here at the man calling the plays under center their 6-4 quarterback what I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's Richardson to throw on second down. That'll give him eight that time. And that is going to set up a third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. And to give this time to the tailback, and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. stick with it on first down and he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory it's a six yard pickup but it gets him to second and four a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game the last run got six now second and four Thank <laughs> you. 
from the gun. Richardson. He's got it. Complete. Mike Davis. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. To throw is Richardson on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Wells. Richardson now off the play and he's taken down this will be a brown sack they push him back eight yards that time on second down enough takes to start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack does it now now they're looking at a third and long and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football and old Mo is a very very fickle man Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, Richardson. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. What we hear so often, how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. So on now is Brandon McManus. He has hit from as far away as 57, but that was in Denver. This will be from 56 yards out. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. It doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on him. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes it's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. And he'll give it here to his running back. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Back to throw. Mallory. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. <laughs> the 
The Browns send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? run got nine that leaves him with second and a yard operating from the gun Richardson on first and ten and they're able to get this one across the 35 and what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do how about how he worked his way to the outside made sure he secured the catch and then anything after that we count that as a bonus and indeed he gets enough for the first down so here's a first and ten at the 38 looking to throw Richardson and he will find his man on the end route, complete. A gain of six there on first. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Richardson looking to throw on second down. Two minutes gone by second quarter. Here's Richardson, throwing on first down. Over the middle, complete. It's Wells. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Uh, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. try the right side here and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage second and ten coming up looked like he was trying to bounce it outside but no success yeah sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot and trying to get it outside the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down now a handoff here to his running back Sharp there with his feet, gets him a little extra space, and then drop just inside the 20. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. 
Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Back to throw. Richardson. And this is going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. The kick by McManus is good. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3 0. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return wasn't terrific, it's not a great starting field position as well. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Showed some tough running, but couldn't free much space. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively, and the key to any screenplay is space to work, and there was nothing to be found there, and they tackle him for just a short game. From the gun on third down, Mallory. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Taken in at the 22. Well, a very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. To throw is Richardson on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime.
Richardson now on first and ten. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Steps away. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Wells. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. It's their quarterback as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. drive about to get started and we'll see what they ought to do with just 14 seconds remaining until intermission and they're just going to run it here up the middle and he'll work this forward for about three at second down now a timeout taken perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry we'll see Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, Mallory. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot before break. Mallory, he's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll send you across town to our studios here in Orlando and check in with the coach at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. 
And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far, and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well, as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. to see the football first but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports no return there for Harris and the drive will begin at the 25 here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter and right out of the gate they face what you think could be a pretty important drive I would say so you know they're down two scores that's not the end of the world it wasn't the strongest of first halves but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second and six, just inside the 30. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Mallory throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses making up opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Mallory, and that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. job getting free on the return for 13 yards and possession will switch hands first and 10. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle hasn't it? Totally and you're thinking to yourself right now if you're on offense trying to get things figured out. Okay we self scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and two. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Call it no game that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Back 
to throw. Richardson. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Bengals bring out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game All right, in baseball. I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. Throwing on first down. Mallory over the middle, and it's incomplete. You know they wanted. You know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know. Maybe there's something to that. Must be a heck of a halftime speech. Yeah, maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. To throw again. Mallory. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Work into the center of the field. Cut it to the outside. Ball's delivered. It's both feet down for the completion. to the 31, enough for the first down. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. From the gun, Mallory. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. But looking to throw. Mallory. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, and he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. What? You already took one bag. Oh, my goodness. Nothing in that first half. <laughs> on the last drive, but they're moving now. Oh, here the comes your cat. 
separating from the gun. He'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people. I have eight points. that says he has two. Oh, well, there must be one more. To throw on second down, Mallory. Got a man complete. It's Taylor. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, look what we have here. Try to get some more of those? That was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Get some more of those. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Off play action. Mallory. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 20, and this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. And right about now, you start to think, and maybe they're starting to think, gosh, maybe points aren't going to happen for us in this game. Well, it's a thought that is worth having because so far in this game, this defense has not just had the upper hand. They've appeared to be a step ahead, maybe even two steps, to everything they've done. They've had an answer for everything this offense has thrown at them. Richardson throwing on first down and yeah, that'll be knocked away it's incomplete quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement in this case he just stared the receiver down that allowed for excellent coverage able to knock that one away an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten throwing again Richardson. They'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They run the counter now on first down. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. remain for second down from the midfield stripe they'll look to throw flush to his right and he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line well he's proven real effective running the football no one open don't force it just get what you can and that's what he's done very well in this game Richardson on first down. 
Looking sideline incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Here's second and ten. To throw again, Richardson. He'll buy some time right. Oh, no, he lost the football. There, this is picked up by the Browns. Partner, that would look like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From the gun, Mallory. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he's brought down. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Mallory. And Davis with it left side. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Looking to throw on second down. Mallory looking middle, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. The Browns on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 14. Looking to throw. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. The sack by Justin Ellis. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception. But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. But he's got his target, Harris. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. 
with this lead and the football things obviously looking good but maybe you know, you've taught me this before maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going and it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout so take care of them protect them take care of the ball move it downfield run the clock down you don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game reward them they've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35 yard line they'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and this defense not giving them anything there maybe a yard up to the 36 and what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts they've got all three still defensively to me you have to start right now here's the time and that means you've got to stop them on defense not give up the yardage use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself but now is the time to start using those timeouts and keep in mind it'll also stop the clock at the two minute warning and he'll give it here to his running back and this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. That's taken in by Henderson. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Barton, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. bring out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time and this one hits at the one continues on into the end zone for a touchback so now the Browns down by 10 at time a huge factor They've yet to score all game long, but now they need to do so twice in short order to have a shot. <laughs> On first and ten, Mallory. So we get a traffic there, and that's complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw on second down, Mallory. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Go, 
Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. Operating from the gun, Mallory. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. It's first and 10 at the 14. Back to throw, Mallory. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. From the gun, Mallory. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You get into these two-minute drill situations, and you often got tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out, and they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forces the incompletion. Try to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. But probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Problem for them, they needed that score with a little more time left on the clock. I think just too little too late now. I would agree with that, and we're programmed never to say never. But in this case, we're asking a lot for them to even think they have a chance. Now the try here for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. So with a second to play, they essentially need a recovery and a run back. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Well, this was a good one. Excitement all the way to the end. You had the points, and then they were hoping for the miracle there on the onside kick. Couldn't get it recovered, and that was your ball game. And I'm of the opinion that any time you actually do recover an onside kick, it almost is a miracle. It takes so many things going right to make it happen. It didn't in this case, and they walk off a victor. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.